if y'all been watching the Olympics lately, I think boxing been really catching a lot of um a lot of the controversy so far before, you know, track kind of starts today. But uh the first fight that really caught me was between the Palestinian and um and the Swedish fighter when when the Palestinian was getting frustrated, so he flipped and <laughs> he flipped the guy on his back. And he switches. I was like, I know. I, I mean I can understand that frustration. <laughs> Cause I used to uh, box too, but yeah, I can understand the frustration. But he flipped old boy on his back, so you know he lost. He lost it anyway. He was losing from points. But then the next one that came up was between uh, Amani Khalif, and then the whole controversies around her body of Karini. Nice little lead up from Khalif as Karini abandoned the bout. So first of all, what's been making me mad is because you had Oscar De La Hoya coming out talking about it shouldn't be allowed. What in the fuck is going on in Paris this year where two biological men are competing against biological women in the sport of boxing? The IOC allowed this to happen and it's saying it's okay because they are females in their passports. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? And I'm like, why are you even getting in on this without actually having done any research? Because I like, technically speaking, the woman is a woman. I mean, she's a woman, hands down. Now, she was born with an XY chromosome, which gives her a little bit more testosterone, but... It's a bloodline trait. Keke Genkai. So, it ain't our fault that she was born with this uh, this this boost to her strength. And I'm like, so is it fair that, that if you want her to not fight because she has this testosterone, she has this XY chromosome in her, which gives her more testosterone... So she should not pursue her dreams because of a birth defect or, or a birth, or a, a birth uh, enhancement, but everybody else is. And here's the issue I have with a lot of people that's really talking about the Italian woman that uh, stepped down. I'm like, in my gym, like when we fought, we had a lot of the women fighters in there. We had women fighters in there too. And they sparred with the men fighters. And the reason they sparred with the men fighters, we couldn't go up for 100%, but you shouldn't be fighting at 100% even when you're doing any form of sparring anyway. Because, I mean, you're not really trying to go in there and take off your peers' heads and stuff. So when we were uh, sparred with the women fighters, their whole purpose of it was for them to get used to heavier punches. So when they fought their fights, there was nothing that their woman opponent, unless she was doing the same thing too, could do to them damage-wise. And they generally won all their fights. I mean, outside of losing the points sometimes, but for the most part, they weren't getting knocked out. And, I mean, they, they sparred with us all the time. So... For her to sit down and take a knee and then want to say that she that was the hardest punch that she had ever received, I'm like, come on, man. I'm like, that's all, Captain. You knew exactly what she was doing. She came back and apologized, but I'm still like at the end of the day, though. I'm like, you knew exactly what you were doing when you accused that woman of that because she had been banned before because of uh, her birth defect. But I was like, how was that even right? Because I'm like, she's a full-fledged woman. You might not like what, what added boost that she get, but don't blame it on her. Blame it on the universe for putting her that, making her that way. I think she was doing what she doing. I mean, because she lost other fights to other women. So I'm like, why is this any different? Like, she came in and she won this fight, fair and square. So y'all ain't got to like it, but y'all can kick rocks with the whole opinion and talking about she's a trans. She ain't no trans. I mean, she's a full-fledged woman. I mean, you can look at her baby picture. She was born a woman. She is a woman. And if you don't like mean, first of all, she, she should have stepped out. She should have fought her out. I mean, she should have just fought it out. I mean, because even if you, I mean, even in martial arts, if you can't beat somebody from strength, you can use technique. So I'm like, so you, I mean, she had her, she kept dropping her guard. So if you got a problem with something, you need to fight better and keep your guard up. I mean, that's fighting one-on-one. You don't ever drop your guard like that. And she kept dropping her guard. So she caught that right hand. And when she caught that right hand, I mean, hey, you have to do what you got to do with it. But yeah, yeah, Olympus has been good so far. Olympus has been real good. So I, I hope y'all checking it out. But uh, boxing really been, has really been on my number one thing so far until, you know, track is today.